What's up, Danny Nans? Welcome to the first ever What Game Are You Gaming podcast. I've been talking about this podcast for about six months now. And the interesting thing is this show did not start as a podcast. <laughs> Before yeah, we get true. too into it, though, my name is Ian. This is the artist formerly known as Mike Charles. I don't think I should. I can. I don't think I can say Fat Fat Mama for this. Well, that's your catchphrase for our, our standard podcast, right. the Six One Six Entertainment Podcast. New episodes every Wednesday. So I don't have a catchphrase right now, but I'll get back to you. On that. So you're gonna develop a catchphrase. Jingling bang. That's not a good one. <laughs> <laughs> that's not good. <laughs> Jingling bang. No, that's not it. What this show originally was was the concept was we take a game that we're currently playing. At the time, I was playing Kingdoms of Amalur Reckoning. I was going through it again because yep. I love that game. And I was playing through it, and the idea was we both sit down, and I tell you about Amalur, mm-hmm. and we show gameplay of it, and I just basically tell you why it's so cool. Yeah. You ask questions about it as someone who's never played it before. So we did that episode, and then we did another one of you playing Mega Man 10, yeah. where it was the same concept. Here's gameplay of it. Here's what I like about it. Here's the best part. Mm-hmm. We have two episodes of this that we did in January. It's currently mid, almost the end of May, yep. and no one's ever seen it. It was really January? Yeah. Wow. And I don't think anyone's going to see them, because that... The concept of that show is shit canned. And here what we're going to do is we're going to talk about what we've been playing lately. And that's it's called What Game Are You Gaming? But that's not all we're going to talk about. Yeah. We're going to go into gaming memories from the past, what games we're looking forward to, you know, stuff like that. So, Dan Dans, you're along for the ride with us, I hope. You know what I'm saying? They are. So I this is What Game Are You Gaming? Let's kick it off with Whoa. What Game Are You Gaming? <laughs> um, It's funny that we start... We, we've started, like, now, because mm-hmm. recently I haven't been playing a lot of games. Oh, perfect. <laughs> um, but, I, I mean, don't, don't get your panties all up in a bunch. I, got I ain't wearing no panties, about. dog, you know what I'm saying? Um, currently, probably, yeah, that's... Uh, um, I've been playing a little Shovel Knight on my mm-hmm. Vita. Uh, pretty good. Now, I don't, like, has it lived up to the hype? I don't know. The hype given to it by Colin Moriarty. Yeah, and basically, other, basically, but I've heard other people say, like Brian Altano of mm-hmm. IGN said, it was Nick Scarpino's love. It was really it. good. Um, it's really good, but I don't know if it's that good. I don't mm-hmm. know, it, like, if I would have played it last year, it wouldn't have been my game of the year. You sure. know what's interesting about that is I feel the exact same way about Axiom Verge. Really, I bought Axiom Verge I have, and I was okay. playing through it, and I've put probably four or five hours into it. And I remember a couple weeks ago, you were like, how you like an Axiom Verge? And I'm like, it's it's good, yeah. but do I feel the need to go home and play Axiom Verge? Or yeah, yeah, yeah. has anything happened at all where I'm like, wow, like, I get it. This is this whole universe. No, like, it's fun. I actually think it's, I think it's really fucking hard. Yeah, um, it looks hard. Maybe I just suck at Axiom Verge. It's totally possible. Mm-hmm. But the thing with me is a lot of people, their main... <coughs> That's not good for a podcast. A lot of people, their main hook for Axiom Verge is the like how Metroid it is. Mm-hmm. You know, it's like oh, it's just like Metroid. It's just like Super Metroid. All these things. I have no background with Metroid at all. Right. So for me, coming in completely blind to this side scroller space shooter. Right. You know, it's fun as hell, and I like the new power ups and everything. But it's not striking me the way it's it's striking a lot of people. I haven't uh, tried Axiom Verge yet. I mm-hmm. downloaded it like the day it came out but uh, I haven't tried it yet. I wish it was on my Vita. Yeah. It will be on the Vita soon. Yeah. Well, I don't know how soon, but... It, you could just remote play it, too. Yeah, true. But, like, having it on the go, like, to play on the train. Yeah. That's the other thing, is, like, Shovel Knight's on my Vita, and I normally play my Vita on the train, but, like, recently I've been, like, reading comic books and stuff on the train, so... I don't know. Like, that's been what I've been more into, but... It's... I was busting your balls a little bit. You're like, I haven't been playing much, and it's funny that we start now. Mm-hmm. Um, I'm so ready for The Witcher 3 to come out. And yeah. if you buy it digitally, it comes out tomorrow at 8 p.m., so I just revealed when we were recording this. But um, by the time this is out, it's Witcher's probably been out. out for a couple weeks, maybe yeah. a week or two. But I can't fucking wait for that game. In the meantime, I've been playing um, the original Zelda <laughs> on oh, wow. 3DS. Because I did, grew up with an NES, but I didn't have that game. Yeah. I've never played all the way through it. Mm-hmm. So jumping into it now, it's it's really fun. It's fucking hard, though. Oh, yeah. And um, I'm excited to keep going through it. But I got a little pissed off because I beat the first boss, and then I either shut it off or my 3DS died or whatever. But I've been saving every time I'm done with it. 
And so I come back to it, and I'm at a spot, and I realize I have, like, no rupees or anything. Right. And I'm looking at my shit, and I'm like, I think I lost, like, an hour of progress here. And it just pissed me off because I don't know the layout of the fucking place. I don't have it memorized. I've never experienced it before. I don't know. Either it died or I didn't save or whatever, but or I opened up the eShop and closed the game without doing the right thing. But that kind of pissed me off, so I haven't been back to that in a while. But See, I want to play... Like, because I bought a 3DS a while ago, Mm -hmm. like a few months ago from your store, and I haven't really, I honestly haven't played it that much. Yeah. Um, I played, let's see, what did I play? I played a little bit of Super Mario, or not Super, no, yeah, Super Mario 3D Land, Mm -hmm. I think, and then a little bit of Star Star Fox 54. I almost said Star Sox. But you did say Star Fox 54. 64. (laughs) What, they should make a game called Star Sox. What would that be about? Uh, you run around naked wearing uh, socks with stars on them. That's not naked, though. You know, but you're junk out, so you're basically naked. And you're as and good the, as naked. The <laughs> socks, they start white, and they have, like, silver glittery, like, rainbowish stars. Oh. And as you go on, you get new pairs of socks and different colored stars that give you different power-ups. Oh. Like, eventually you get the, stock, the socks with the wings on them, and then you can fly. You know what I mean? I like it. I think this is the way to go. Anyway, you you write it, I'll program it, and then we'll put it out. <laughs> it's out already. Where can we get it? We did it all. You can't. <laughs> what the fuck does that mean? Yeah, I, I can. Some some people it'll just appear on their systems. Which system? Any of them. <laughs> Any of them all. But you only can get it if you're lucky enough for it to be put there. So okay. there's some poor little girl in like Nicaragua. She just hooked up a fucking Genesis for the first time. She turns it on, and she's got star socks. She's not a poor little girl. She's great. She's going to be real happy because she's got star socks on her, her game system. And, she's, <laughs> and she could be rich as fuck to feed mm-hmm. her family because she could sell that Sega and get a lot of money. Cause it's Those are worth about $15. No, but it's got star socks on it. Yeah, though. but if there's no proof that this game even exists, other than just, like, maybe it'll show up, people could think it's a fucking glitch. That wouldn't make it worth anything. Said, oh, you don't know anything. <sighs> I think you might be overstating the worth of star socks. No, it's going to... Because it's going to show up. I, look, there's a press release about it. Mm-hmm. People know what it is, what's up with it, and now everyone is like... Shit, I hope it shows up on mine, and like people are gonna be like craving it, and then the ones that it does show up on are gonna be valuable because they're super rare. Rareness always means value. How does it show up on the system? I go into the computer and I say I find an IP address, and I go ping, and it's I send it to their system, and I download. You send it to a Sega Genesis through an IP address. I don't think you know how the world works. Do you have a brain in your head? That you can't do that. You don't know. I, I do know. I I made this game, so I know how to do. I thought I helped make the game. No. I understand a little bit about it. You, you, I just pitched the whole story, and then I made the whole thing. And now that girl is rich, and her family is. Uh, Why haven't you made any money out of this? Because it's I'm not in for the money. What are you in it for? Just the love of the game. <laughs> You're talking so quiet, you're going to put people to sleep. <laughs> okay, do you want me to talk like this? Just normal. I'm talking, I I feel like I'm talking completely normal. Okay. I've been playing a lot of um, Zelda, like I was saying. I did start to play Spec Ops The Line, mm-hmm. which you have told me was amazing. Colin Moriarty said it was amazing. Was yeah, whatever. Great game. Yeah. I'm playing through it. I'm about halfway through it, maybe... Eight, somewhere between seven and ten hours, I would say. Mm-hmm. I'm, I don't remember what fucking chapter I'm on. Whatever. That's not a good game. I think you're crazy. It's not a good game. You're crazy. The gunplay. It's not even. You don't even think it's good. No. You're nuts. It's like average. You're the nuts. The gunplay is nothing special at all. It's like, oh, run, take cover, shoot that guy. Run, take cover, shoot that guy. Run, take cover, shoot that guy. Here's more guys. Here's a knife guy. There's like four kinds of enemies: RPG guy, sni- sniper guy, regular guy. Knife guy. That's a that's about it. I'm halfway through the fucking game. That's about it. Mm. And the snipers are, like, I'm on the second hardest difficulty. Mm-hmm. The one right before the locked difficulty. I don't even have to deal with snipers because you have your two teammates with you. I just hold R2 and click on them and then I just sit there. And I wait for the sniper to die. 
Like, the the mechanics they give you, they let you rely on your party so much that there's very little you even have to do. And when you do have to do it, it's fucking... It's either super simple or super hard, depending on the situation. It, the story I've heard gets very good. Mm-hmm. I'm halfway through the game and the story is dog shit. It's just like, oh, I get called in because there's down soldiers there. Like, oh, this guy was the best guy I've ever known. And you go in there and you're just fighting guys and you meet, you find dead soldiers and then you find dead soldiers. And then you find out that there's a soldiers that are killing other soldiers. They're the enemy. You know, yeah. I'm halfway through the game and it's not, it's not very good at all. So that's just my opinion differing with other opinions. The gunplay is very similar to The Order. I see. And The Order was not that good at all. No, but I see. I haven't played it in a long time. My mm. impression of it was the 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 mechanics and the gameplay it wasn't like it wasn't mind blowing mm-hmm. it was but it, I felt like it was a solid first person shooter like it was or not third third I know person. what you mean it was it was a good like I liked the mechanics I liked the gameplay it wasn't any like it, they didn't do anything revolutionary but like yeah I, to me the story and the atmosphere of the game is what sold me on it so much. I haven't even really run into any atmosphere. See, I don't know. I'm halfway through the game, and it's just like I come across the American guy Mm -hmm. who's doing non-American things to Americans, and it's he's just an asshole. And it's like, oh, we'll go after that guy. Sand because we're in the desert. Helicopter, run away from the helicopter. Shoot the sniper guy. It's it's like fucking cut and dry, like military shooter. See, I and it's not even a very good one in my opinion. I, I think. I wanted to love to this say game. Cut and dry military shooter. From my memories of that game, yeah. it's so far from. Maybe towards the end, the story spikes or does something, which See, I, it you wasn't... told me it's similar to like Apocalypse Now, which I've never seen before. But to me, it's like it. It wasn't like oh, just right at the end. It okay. showed up. Okay. then maybe but... it's just I'm completely unimpressed by it. In general, the graphics are not very good. The frame rate dips constantly. Almost every time you come back from a cutscene, the textures are not loaded. You were talking shit about the mechanics, but you love Dead Island, so... I love Dead Island for what it is. I know that when I start up Dead Island, it's like, oh man, this looks kind of cool. Bash a zombie, and then the game nearly breaks. (laughs) And I'm like, this fucker can't even breathe right now. Sit back, get a sandwich, wait for the game to finish itself, and then you can play it again. I know Dead Island is not very good, but I fucking love Dead Island. You know what's better than Dead Island? Dying Light. Because it's oh, Dead boy. Island with a better team who made a better game. Would I ever choose... Team? No. It's this team from Dead Island 1. But Riptide was a different team. Right. Would I ever take Dead Island over Dying Light? No. It's like, would I ever take Spec Ops over Uncharted? No. No, of course not. To me, that's it's like the same comparison. You've got a mediocre, no. zombie-smashing like RPG first person. And then you've got a great version of that, mm-hmm. where Spec Ops: The Line to me is a mediocre third-person military shooter, and Uncharted is this grandiose action set pieces third-person mm-hmm. shooter. You know what I mean? There's I have no connection to any of the characters in Spec Ops at all. Yeah. It's like oh, I got a jabroni over here and a jabroni over there. They're my jabroni buddies, and I'm some jabroni who's got military experience. I'm a great soldier. I'm, I'm here to do the right thing. You know, that's all I feel about yeah. so far. So that's what I've been gaming. I don't know what to tell you. Can't wait for The Witcher. Yeah, I'm kind of looking for... I'm kind of interested in The Witcher. I don't know. Mm-hmm. Like, it's just... It looks good, and I, I think I'd like it a lot, but it's the... Right now, I don't know if I'm in the mood for, like, a two-hour experience. A two-hour game. A 200-hour <laughs> I'm sorry. Like, two I, hours? I knew when that like it, that they came out of my mouth, and I'm like, that doesn't sound right, but... It no, wasn't. It's right. <laughs> it is right. The, um, the thing that I'm... The reason I'm so excited for The Witcher is I was never a fantasy magic and dragons kind of guy mm-hmm. at all. Princesses, all this bullshit. That was never for me. Yeah. When Skyrim was coming out, I'm like, that shit looks so good. I'm going to give it a shot. Mm-hmm. Maybe I'll like it. Skyrim comes out. It's one of my favorite games of all time. Yeah, it's fantastic. Skyrim changed the kind of games that I like to play. I love being dropped in an open world now. And you can say open world in the sense of like Grand Theft Auto, where it's right. modern, there's cars and everything. I will throw that in the trash can a million times when I can get a good like medieval world or fantasy world. I much prefer that. You know what I mean? Like I love 
the just the aesthetic of like Diablo, like yeah. fucked up monsters and magic and everything. That I'm really into that mm-hmm. now. And The Witcher is going to give me that kind of world where there's these giant fucking monsters and everything, and I'm this weird guy, and he can grow a beard. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I see. I don't like. I I feel uh, very similar in the way that um, I didn't used to like the fantasy, mm-hmm. like high fantasy stuff, um, but more recently, I've been more into it with with Skyrim, with stuff like Game of Thrones, mm-hmm. all like these great games that are coming out. Um, but I don't know that I would just, I'd say I prefer, like, a fantasy RPG to, like, uh, like a Grand Theft Auto, just in general, Mm -hmm. you know? I think it just, it depends on the game for me, just game, game by game by game. Yeah. I just think there's, there's less that a a realistic open world modern day can offer you. You know, get in a car, get in a jet, get in a helicopter, guns, and this bullshit. Yeah. But there's you. when you create your own world, there's endless possibilities. Yeah. We might go to hell. We might. Oh, I said hell and fucking went Maybe it up. Maybe hell's up there in your world. Exactly. See, there's so many possibilities. <laughs> um, like you, you walk into a lake and then you find out there's that was just a portal to another world. You know. Yeah. When you're in that sort of world, there's so many fucking possibilities. I cannot wait for The Witcher. That's exactly what I want. To, yeah. What I want to fall into. Oh, probably when you when you get it, I'll probably watch you play it a little mm-hmm. bit, and they be like, "All right, I have to get it." Yeah. Well, it comes out. It comes out on Tuesday, so and if you pre-order it digitally, you can have it at like eight p.m. tomorrow, which I would love to do. But we have to wow. do WWE Raw Talks Live on right. YouTube right after Monday Night Raw. We go live on YouTube. We cover the show segment by segment. We review the whole thing with a live chat. And you should hang out with us. Yeah. So I think maybe I'll just wait and get it the next day. Cause Probably. why bother? But, so did you pre-order it digitally? No. Cause if I did, did you pre-order it at all? No. Oh, okay. No, I had, I've intended to get it for a long yeah. time, but I haven't taken the I thought for some step reason, to I pre-order you, it. For some, reason, for some reason, I thought you said you pre-ordered it, but mm-hmm. I don't know. E3? <laughs> what about it? It's coming up soon. Yeah. It's like a month away. Almost exactly a month. Yeah. It's, so does it start with the Bethesda conference? Mm-hmm. Whoa. Sunday, Bethesda's the first one. Whoa. That's Are you an excited boy? No, not at all. Yes, oh. I'm, I'm very excited. I just shit my pants. Actually, I'm so excited. How much? Just a tiny. Little liquid bit. or solid? A liquid. Liquid. But it's like, just a t- little, like that much. Did you shit your ass or did you shit your pants? Because the, there's a difference. When you shit your ass, the shit is still between your butt cheeks. You know, when you shit your pants, okay. it has expanded past the butt cheeks and into your drawers. But if if you shit your ass, and like. Cause I, I, the way I see it is like if you shit your ass, there mm-hmm. can still be, there's still gonna be some like poop stains on your underwear. As, as time goes on, yeah, but like you're moving back and forth, ass. like getting comfortable. I guess I shit my ass. I don't know. Yeah. When was the last time you shit your ass? No, it's really been. I didn't really do that. Mm-hmm. Just, no, it's been a while. Yeah. I think I was playing Burnout Three. <laughs> That's time. game related. When I was like, let's talk about gaming shit stories. When I was in like junior high, I feel like. Yeah. And I shit my pants. Well, I, no, I had a fart, and it wasn't a fart. Yeah. Uh, and I was like, oh, shit. And I paused the game, and I went into the laundry room, and I took my clothes off. Yeah. And uh, I don't remember what I did with the underwear. So, wait, you went into the laundry room yeah. and just took your pants and underwear off. Yeah. So you're standing there with a shitty ass, like, where's everyone else? Maybe I went to the bathroom first. That's what I was going to say. Why not go to the no, bathroom? No, I probably did that, and then... Like, I brought my stuff into the laundry room. Mm-hmm. And my jeans w- weren't, like, shitty. Mm-hmm. But no I shit still in the had jeans. to wash them. You know, yeah. Stuff like I needed to wash Maybe them. Maybe a little bit of skid in there. Yeah. That could be uh, a problem. There, w- there wasn't any visuals. Mm-hmm. Uh, but, you know, that would be too safe. <laughs> and then, uh, I don't know what I did with my underwear. You probably just threw them out. I don't know. Maybe, I might have just put, maybe... Hmm. Because you can't just, just throw shitty underwear in the dirty clothes bin. And then the shit crusts on there no i think i might have like just like thrown it into the washing machine immediately just by itself yeah you can't you can't really do that though you gotta at least put I it in the it. sink and <laughs> wash the shit off no, so there's not fucking turds shit. in the washing machine no it's not no it wasn't turds yeah it was, it was just, just a, little, a little it was just like it wasn't even a, sh- a ton of shit it mm-hmm. was just like a little 
like that. A clump. Yeah. But it was yeah. wet. It was liquid. Yeah. It wasn't turds. That's a problem. So, and then, like, the washing machine, all the dirty shit. It's not like you put, like, like dirty clothes and it washes all the dirt out and then the dirt just stays in the washing machine. Mm. There's a, an irrigation system to pump it all out. Oh, yeah, yeah, So yeah. It's, it's... I guess that makes sense. It's legit stuff. I think I only have one shitty story in my entire, like, gaming career. Yeah. And this is when I was playing... Um, this would probably be 2008 or 2009 at the time. I'm playing UFC 2009. Yeah. And I'm sitting on my couch. Or, and I'm sitting on the couch. Whoa, why? I'm on the motherfucking psycho. <laughs> I'm on the. I'm sitting on the floor actually, and mm-hmm. I'm kind of leaned back, and I got like my my feet are on the ground, my knees are up in the air, and I'm thinking like I got a fart. So I'm sitting there with a controller just like this. So I'm sitting there and I'm playing, and I'm like, <laughs> I'm like, and I pause it, and I'm like. I might just shit my pants. <laughs> that was trouble. <laughs> this is not a good situation right now. Uh-huh. So I weighed my options. I'm thinking I might have a shitty ass or shitty pants. It wasn't explosive, so it was probably probably a shitty ass, if yeah. anything. But I'm in career mode right now. I'm in the third round of a three-round fight against Keith Jardine. Mm-hmm. And if I win this fight, I might get a title shot. So do I unpause the game and fight Keith Jardine? With a shitty ass, or do I go into the bathroom, clean my ass, and come back no longer in the fight? My mental state is going to be affected. What'd you do? I unpaused that game and I fucked up Keith Jardine. I didn't get a title shot, and I did not have a shitty ass. (laughs) It was a false alarm, but there was a very real concern that it was a full-on red siren shitty ass situation and I was willing to fight through the pain because a real fighter has heart see that story would be so much better if you actually shit your pants yeah but I thought I I think it's better that I thought I shit my pants and was like well I already shit my pants no but I'm I'm not gonna get shittier pants like there's already shit in them but there wasn't what kind of chair were you sitting on I wasn't I was on the floor oh so that's why my my legs were like kind of up like my knees were up in the air what if it leaked out through your pants and got on the floor. Yeah, I'd have more of a mess to clean, but I would have a victory over Keith Jardine, just like I did the Dean of Mean. I didn't get a title shot after it though, and I went straight into Dana White's office and I'm like, "Digital Dana, I deserve a, f- a title shot." And he said, "Why?" And I said, "I fought Keith with a shitty butt." <laughs> <laughs> he was like, "Go fuck yourself." What do you want to talk about E3? Um, just in general, like, what are you excited for? What are your predictions? Like, what do you think's E3 is my favorite time of year. Yeah. Um, I fucking hate Christmas. Christmas does nothing for me. Mm -hmm. E3 is my favorite time of year to the point where we have never missed an episode of Raw Talks Live. Right. Every Monday we go live on YouTube, like I said before. We are going to miss an episode on June 15th because Sony's conference starts at 8 p.m. our time. And that's just, that's not enough time to watch Raw and go live. We didn't even miss Raw Talks when Raw missed Raw. (laughs) You're right. (laughs) Raw got canceled because of a blizzard and we fucking went live and we're like, well, we don't have a lot to talk about, but we will on Friday. And we did a SmackDown Talks just because they fucked up. Mm -hmm. So now our playlist goes Raw Talks, Raw Talks, Raw Talks, SmackDown Talks, Raw Talks, Raw Talks, WrestleMania Review. You know, yeah. and all of those are quality shows. Go through the black backlog. You can watch them all. The black log. Yeah. <laughs> what the fuck is the black log? Don't even bother watching Raw. Just we just watch ours. And That's it. We have people who do that. Captain McKay at Captain McKay on Twitter. Yep. Every week he doesn't watch wrestling. He comes to us and fuck he's like, wrestling. "That sounds like it would have been a good one." You know what I mean? Yeah. So E3 is so big for me that we're just. I said straight up, we're in line for the Gerard Way concert mm-hmm. yesterday. I'm like, we're not doing Raw talks that night. We're watching the Sony conference. That's yeah, what's going to happen. It's the Sony one. I've requested off work for E3. I'm not missing those conferences. It's huge to I, me. Uh, I was going to request off work, but the two I care about are conveniently uh, not in my work schedule. Mm-hmm. On an off day and then when you're already out of work. Yep, at so, night, 8 o'clock. What do I think is going to happen at E3? There's the obvious ones, like the Bethesda conference you got. They're going to talk about Fallout. Um Colin has pointed out many times, Colin Moriarty, for the Dandans who are not best friends, that they will most likely have Dishonored there, Dishonored 2, yeah. and then they're going to have Doom. Doom. I don't know what the fuck else they're going to do, nor do I care. No. All they need to talk about for me is Fallout 4, and I'm really excited for Elder Scrolls Online. I have been for a long time, 
Maybe th- give me some new t- details about that. I it's going to be so. out by that time, but maybe they'll have something new to announce. Like, you just got the game, you're already loving it, and wait till you see what, what else we have for right, you. Right. You know, that wouldn't piss me off because no. I'm, I'm going to buy that game, and I hope I love it. But um, there's big things on the horizon, you know what I mean? Yeah. From Sony's got Uncharted 4, it got delayed. So they're going to show us more from Uncharted 4. Yeah, def- no, without a doubt. Because they can't just say, it's going to be next year, and then be like, we're not going to talk about it until next year. No. So I think we're going to get gameplay. I think we're going to get a lot more story details. I think um, we probably will, probably will get a release date rather than a window. Because mm-hmm. before they were like holiday 2015. Yeah. I think now, now we might see like April 2nd, 2016 or whatever. At least a month maybe. Yeah. I, I don't know about it. Uh, I think we're going to get a solid date. Mm. That's a prediction I'll throw out right now. All right. That's fair. I, what do you uh, got? What do you think's coming? Well, I mean, I, what you said is obvious. Mm-hmm. Uh, what I'm excited for, obviously I'm always excited for the Sony one more than everything else because I'm a PlayStationer. Mm-hmm. Um, so like Microsoft and EA and now like Square Enix has one, I think. Ubisoft. Yeah, they always have one. Um those aren't. Those don't like. Obviously, I, I get. I'm excited to watch everything, mm-hmm. to hear all the news. But those don't really do anything for me. Sony, I'm excited for because there's a lot of, like, a lot of their first party studios still haven't put out. Haven't a, said shit. Uh, like, still have not put out a uh, next uh, current gen game. Mm-hmm. Like, do you remember Media Molecule a, a couple months ago put out that like video of a glitch that their current game did? No. It was like a weird like. It was some like something they were working on, and they uh, it was like this this weird like color thing that their game just fucking did. I have no accident. idea what you're talking about. I didn't see it. Um, but yeah, I guess. What kind of game did it look like? It it, it, it was just like weird like colors. It, it had <laughs> nothing to do with the game. There was, was no like, land, no character. No. It was just a color screen. It was like colors flashing and like weird colors and shapes and shit. What if like that's the game? Abstract. It's like that shit if you ever seen any game in the movie where Phil Fish was like when I was a kid I made this game called like Videodrome where you just turn it on and you choose a pattern it's like dum 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 and the shit's just a strobe. Yeah. He's like and you'd put your face in it and stare at it and then eventually you'd like like see stuff or, or not. <laughs> I don't remember that. I have, to, I have to watch that again. And he's staring at this thing just blinking in his face, and he was like, this is so awesome. And it's like, is it, dude? It's just a fucking strobe light. That He's a strange man. That guy's a weird... Yeah. He's a very strange man. He's, he's going to kill himself one of these days. I think if he was going to kill himself, he would have. I don't know. I'm not saying he should. I just... No. I don't want him to. I think he made a great game. I'd love for him to make another one. I don't ever want to read his Twitter because I think he's a bit of a... He's a dick. I think he's a bit of a C word. He's a but, dick. You know. It's uh, about E3. Yeah. Uh, but I just... Dude, Fallout 4. What do you think Sony's companies or other developers are working on? I have no, I have no idea. Um, like, there's... There is uh, the possibility... I mean, not the possibility, um, but... Santa Monica could talk about God of War because mm-hmm. they didn't they I think they t- they mentioned that they're making a new one. They're making the remaster of well, three. They're making the, that, but at one of the other like conventions or something. I don't uh, think they said they're making one. I think work- they just said that it's it's not over. I think that's what they said. I think they said they're they're working on something, but they didn't say like mm-hmm. announce it. I don't think we're gonna hear anything about it. I think God of War remastered. God of War 3 Remastered will come out, and we'll get that, and that's going to be kind of a refresher course. Mm -hmm. And you know what? Because Sony Santa Monica always does this in every God of War game. There's there's a hidden Easter egg somewhere, and in God of War 3 Remastered will be the Easter egg for the new one. That's that's what it's going to be. I'll make a $15 bet with you right now about that shit. You know what I'm saying? Because I feel confident about that shit. No, I don't want to make that bet. But that's what I think. There's not going to be... They're not going to talk about the new God of War. At E3, it's not going to happen. Okay. Um, Other than that, I mean, I don't know. I have no idea what the other studios are Mm -hmm. working on. Well, there's been talk of Guerrilla doing, like, an... They want to do an open world game. Right. They've been talking about that forever. Killzone. Okay. They're those Killzone boys. Right. You know what I'm saying? I've never played a Killzone game. That's a goddamn shame. What's wrong with you? I don't know. What's your problem in life? I don't know. It's that you don't have Killzone in your life. They've never... It's never really appealed to me that much. You like first-person shooters. I Yeah, but they're not my favorite. 
<laughs> it has I'm to like, be your favorite for you to play it. No. Killzone but, 2 was fucking awesome uh-huh. on PS3, and you can get it for like a dollar now. Killzone 3 was all right. I didn't finish it. Yeah. Killzone Mercenary in the Vita is really good. See, I got we got that on for PlayStation Plus, so I'll probably and I downloaded it on my Vita, so I'll play that one. Killzone Shadowfall on PS4 was really good. My favorite Killzone game was actually Killzone Liberation on PSP. It was like a three-quarter top-down, kind of like Diablo, third person. You're moving around, and you would take cover, and you could get in mechs and tanks Sounds and like shit. Sounds like Helldivers. It was fucking awesome. Dude, Killzone Liberation was this shit. I don't even think I know that existed. It was really cool. See if you can... I think you can get it on your Vita. You should Probably. download it. It's most really, really PSP fun. Most games are on the Vita. Not most. There's some. There's a handful. <laughs> Sony needs to get their shit together with that, too, because you can download, like, WWE SmackDown vs. Raw 2010 on the Vita right now for, like, thirty nine ninety nine, Because they never go back and down, like, Wait. adjust that shit. Jesus. Yeah. They put it up, and then it's just like, oh, drop ten bucks, and four years later, they're just like, nah, that's fine. That's and I think that's what some of these flash sales are for. They realize the sales have slowed down a lot of this shit. Right. So they knock that shit in half. You know what I mean? Yep. Get games that, uh, did you buy any of those? No, we just talked about this earlier. Yeah, but... I got The Wolf Among Us on PS4. Mm-hmm. I'll turn on my PS3 later and get the ones I'm interested in. I spent like $30. 30 Yeah. What'd you get? I got The Wolf Among Us. I think I bought, rebought, uh, uh, The Walking Dead Season 1. Mm-hmm. Why? For the P- on the PS4. Oh, and just get that plat? And get the, so you can play Season the, 2? I get, yeah. Um... Uh, f- uh, what's the Vita game? The Freedom well, Freedom, Freedom Wars? Wars. Freedom War. What is this? I thought you were doing like a magic wand. I don't know. <laughs> I, I don't know. What's you, the, what's the Vita game? <laughs> you fight. You fight stuff. Yeah, but you fight stuff like this in Freedom Wars, and you get up close and hit like this. I mean, I don't know their their wrist movements. I think they don't move the wrist. I think it's mostly elbows and shoulder. Mm. There's a lot of hips involved. You know what I mean? I don't know. More pressure. More pressure. <laughs> I can't remember off the top. What else did I buy? What else did I buy? Did you get Bioshock? Nope. I have that already. I've played it. If you don't remember, it's not worth talking about. All right. But there was a flash sale going on at this time that the Dan Dan should have taken advantage yeah, of. Yeah, for sure. Which I'm going to do tonight because time is fucking ticking it, on that right now. It expires tomorrow. What's today? The 17th? Yeah. Expires the 18th. So this shit might be over at midnight. Uh, so I got to get them. Quick. It's set, like... I don't care. I'll yeah, cross it, that bridge when I get it to it. It might be... You know what Like, I'm midnight tomorrow night. You know what I'm saying? What I want to know is... Because I don't have a whole lot of E3 predictions to make. No, I don't... So really I'm, I'm, I don't work in the goddamn games industry. Right. I'm a fan. I'm a gamer. Right. I love to be a part of this culture, but I'm not in the industry. So it's not my fucking job to tell you what's going to happen. Exactly. What I want to know is what your most anticipated game is right now. Like, I think we talked about this okay. on our first ever 616 Entertainment podcast, which was, like, 65 weeks ago. Yeah. And at the time, I was like, yo, I'm, I want Helldivers. Yo, I want this game. Yo, yeah, yeah. I want that game. Helldivers came out, and it was a really fun game, and I was into it, but the shit was broken. So I stopped playing it because I didn't want to lose my progress. Yeah. I have no incentive to pick that game up again. It's not, I just, it's not broken anymore. Yeah, but it, was, it shouldn't have been fucking broken at all. Mm-hmm. I paid fifteen twenty dollars for that game, yeah, and the shit didn't even work. And I'm hearing everybody online going like, "Yo, I lost my whole character." Yeah. So don't let your controller die. And then there's people going like, "Dude, my controller didn't die, and I lost my whole character." Yeah. And it wasn't just a couple people popping up; it was everywhere. So I stopped playing it, and mm-hmm. now I'm looking at it, I'm just like, I don't know. Maybe I'll get back to it, but yeah. that was a huge disappointment for me. Yeah. Not the game quality itself. I had a lot of fun with the game. Yeah. But you know what I mean. Uh huh. Um, so most anticipated mm-hmm. games, does it have to be a game that's announced? I don't think so. Cause, Cause you'll say fallout four. Yeah. Without a doubt. Yeah. Cause we, cause that's basically guaranteed. To be it's announced. good. Yeah. It's, it's going gonna to be, be announced. I dude, I cannot wait. The spoiler for fallout four being announced was Bethesda saying we're going to have our own conference. I, I, um, <laughs> dude, what if they don't do it? What if it's, what if, if they don't do it, they're going to. They're gonna not exist tomorrow because oh. people are going to rush the streets of wherever their fucking headquarters is, and that place is gonna come down. down. It's gonna be a riot. That'd be so funny. You know what I mean? That'd be so fucking funny. 
I don't think it would be no, funny. I think it would be terrible. And as you, as a fan, you would not be just like, this is hilarious. They're the ultimate trolls. You'd be like, get fire things. <laughs> get fire things. Yeah. yeah. But no, that's... You'd, put, you'd get that little thing you have like this that just lets freedom you... Sh- wars. <laughs> it's a freedom war. <laughs> that's what it's... It's called a freedom war, and it's just a stick, and you <laughs> shoot fire. <laughs> it's Some you, guy picks it up, and he's doing all these cool moves, and you're like, no, you gotta use it like this. It makes things free. What does that mean? Anything that's not free, just... And it's like an animal in a cage or a product on a shelf? Anything. Both, Are you, like, monetarily or, words, like, morally? All meanings of the words. Mm. Like... If it's an animal in the cage, animal in the cage, <laughs> it lets them out. If it's you know a PS4 on a shelf, go da 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 da, da and now it's free, and they have to the store has to recognize it. They have to uh, you know give it to you for free. Um, you're addicted to drugs. You go, you go da, 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 da. Now you're free from that addiction. Yeah. So eventually, you are overrun with power. It's corrupted you. Can you take the Freedom War and go da 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 da, and then the Freedom War just ceases to be, and you freed yourself of the addiction and compulsion to constantly use your Freedom War? Um, if it becomes an addiction that I can't, control. it will. You're gonna go everywhere. You're gonna be like, "Can I get a Big Mac? That's a dollar twenty nine. You'll be like, "Da da da da. That shit's free." So now I'll be. I'll use it for good. I'll free the slaves. Free addiction. Free the slaves. Yeah. Who are the slaves? There's, there's slaves through all over the world. Where? You don't think there's slaves in the world? I think there are slaves in the world. There's sex slaves. There's... Exactly. There's all kinds of I'm slaves. I'm not talking about, like... The, the... I thought you were talking about, like, African slaves no! in 1855. I'm talking about the <laughs> slaves in the world, all okay. around. I was People starting... who are not free. I was just starting I'm to wonder... i cure the addictions. Yeah. I'm going to cure cancer because you're free of cancer now. Yeah, but you're going to use it for you, too. You can't say you won't. So, so they're gonna don't be like, I deserve something good? I'm doing all this good? But what I'm saying is eventually it's going to overrun you. Okay. And you're going to be like, I can cure this kid of a headache, or I can make that pizza right there be free and I get to eat I it. I could do both. You'd be like, There's um, no limits. But what it's I'm saying. Freedom what freedom I'm. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I know what you're going to say. Yeah, okay, fine. It becomes an addiction. I can't help it. I'm not going to f- free myself of this addiction mm-hmm. because I'm doing too much good in the world. And it's it would be a selfish for me to go, oh, I don't want to carry this burden of getting free stuff and helping people, so I'm going to get rid of it. And now all you people who are, are, are sick and addicted and not free slaves, fuck you. You're, you're going to stay that way because I, I don't want to help anymore. And get free stuff. I'm just so poor. Such a poor man. My most anticipated game right now. I don't know if it's my most anticipated game right now, but it's definitely fucking up there, dude. I cannot wait for Rockman 4. Oh, I, didn't I can't wait that. for that shit to come out. Because we're yeah, going to have a fucking so much, party. That's going to be a lot of Just fun. one party, though. We're going to have one party where then I'm going to return it. Can I have it? No, I'm just playing. I'm going to keep that shit. <laughs> I don't even want it because I won't play it in my house. I will. See, I'm the kind of weirdo who I do like playing rock band alone. I don't sing alone, but oh, I'll like weird. I'll sit down and be like, I wonder if I could play this one on hard because I'm not great at guitar. Right. Or I'll just throw together a set list or do a random set list or whatever on expert drums and just mm-hmm. play through because it's fun. Yeah. Like no, I'll I, only play songs I like. Yeah. You no, know that's what, what I, mean? I mean. That's I did that with, like obviously with Guitar Hero. You start, you get one fucking guitar. I think it hit a it. stigma though. Eventually, with music games that be, they became party games. Yeah. And there was just like, I don't play rock band alone. I'm a fucking weirdo. You know, I've heard people say that shit before. Well, but I'll just say straight up, I guess I am a fucking weirdo. You know. No. Rock Band 4 is definitely one that I'm into big time. Um, and after, yeah, just today, I, we, I went, we went to go see this movie. Mm-hmm. I cannot wait for Mad Max, dude. Mad Max Fury Road, for the Dan Ans who haven't seen it yet, go fucking see it. Yeah, it was fucking It awesome. was so good. It was awesome. It was so good, I can't even tell you. And the gameplay that they showed it looks, looks like... Mordor really mixed with Uncharted, mixed with Arkham, really impressive. Mixed stuff. with the the driving, the driving kind of reminded me a little bit of Rage, just having that open, like yeah. deserty, broken down world. Um, and like honestly, the driving I could give or take. In, but it's such a huge in like yeah, in like a movie, Fallout so like, game. Like we were talking at work, me and Tom yeah. were talking at work about how like, do you want vehicles in Fallout? And I was like, no, yeah. I want to walk around that world. Um, 
I don't need a vehicle because I'm going to miss so many cool things that I might come across. Right. I'm not going to want to get out of my car to check every fucking dumpster. Mm-hmm. Where when I'm, on, when I'm on foot and I see a building over there, I'm going to walk around the entire perimeter of that building before I even go in it. Because mm-hmm. i got to do a perimeter check. If there's dumpsters out there, i got to know if there's bottle caps in them. If I'm in a car, I'm just going to be like, fuck that place. I'm keeping going. Yeah. So the going off the beaten path won't exist if I have the car. But in Mad Max, there's just so much shit that's going to be awesome. Yeah, yeah. And that world is going to have to be huge to support those vehicle f- combat. You know what I mean? Yeah, right. So well, I cannot wait to see what that game becomes. I'm Yeah, I'm super interested in it. I was always in, like, from the moment they announced it, I was mm-hmm. kind of curious just yeah. to see what it was. I wasn't. Because like, the moment they announced it, they pissed. They announced it. They pissed me off. Why? Because the, when you we saw that trailer, we were like, "Fucking Fallout 4! Oh, and then yeah. it was like Mad Max, and we were see, like, I didn't, "Fuck Mad Max!" I didn't see it live. I did. So I just heard, "Oh, they announced a Mad Max game." Yeah, like if that. you saw that trailer live at E3, you would have been losing your mind just like I was. And then it says Mad Max, and I'm just like, "Who gives a shit about Mad Max?" Do you realize what you've just yeah. done? Well, I remember like, I'm a mad boy now. when I heard it was announced, I was like, that's a weird property to make a game. Yeah. At um, the time, we didn't know they've got this giant movie right, in the works. Right. And it was fucking awesome. Mm-hmm. So, uh, but yeah, this if, if this, um, if it's like a great game, that's, like, that's one of the few... Like, game movie tie-in. License game. Yeah. Yeah. But, like, license game... There are good license games. It's... I think it's a... Uh, I think there's a lot of good license games. Yeah. But the good ones aren't... They don't shit it out to come out in conjunction no, with No, they the take movie. their time. Right. So, like, if this actually... If this is what they did... Like, because obviously they did plan to make these at the same... Like, somewhat around the same time. When is Mad Max coming out? I don't know. You got the internet right there. You got know, the whole world in your I, pocket. I don't I know, but Give I don't want to just sit here and Google. The, whole the part thing. I'm so excited about Mad Max with is they show you, like, Rip Roaring in the car, and I'm like, man, that looks kind of cool. But then they show you out of the car, they show the combat, I'm like, yo, that's, like, Uncharted mixed with Mordor mixed with um, Arkham, which is a huge thing. All of those games, the combat together is almost like a perfect storm. Uncharted's easily the weakest in hand-to-hand combat of those three games. Oh, right. It's, but it's um, quick, I just... Time. It was the animations more than anything that reminded me of that. Mm-hmm. Like, Nate always puts a guy up against the wall and he gives yeah, him yeah. three shots and then, like, an elbow will the, knock him the, out. The uh, animations in Uncharted's combat they're great, are great, but... but it, it's, it's just a like square triangle. Timing, yeah. Square, square, triangle, square. Um, it comes out September 1st, by the way. So te- That's very close. Okay, yeah, Mad Max is on my list. Mm-hmm. Like, right now, it's... Right now it's The Witcher Three, right, just because it comes out like days. fucking basically tomorrow. Yeah. So at the time we're recording this, yeah. but what intrigues me so much about Mad Max is that could easily be like an Uncharted style game, where go here, go here, go here, very cool set pieces, interesting story, cool characters. But they show you character, like they show you building your character, and not like the look of him or anything, but they show you like oh put points in his defense put points yeah, here put yeah. points there and i'm like this is, if this has rpg elements in it that's going to blow my dick off yeah, i can't yeah. fucking wait for mad max thinking about it right now i'm so excited for that and just they there's the concern when you hear about mad max it's going to be all desert it's going to be all fucking orange and it's going to mm-hmm. get tiresome after a while but they just show that spot where like you're on this giant rope bridge and they're, it's like you're over the Grand Canyon. There's yeah. hundreds of feet below you, and you're fighting the fucking weirdo ghoul-looking guys. I don't... And they, you punch a guy, and you throw him over the edge of the bridge, and he falls all the way down. And it's like, what is that place? I want to be at that place. Yeah, I don't know if I've seen the whole thing. I oh, you think you showed me yeah. like clips from it, but I don't know if I've sit, sat down and watched the whole thing. So yeah. I'll have to do that. Mad Max Soon. is up there for me. So I got Rock Band and Mad Max. What are you looking at? Fallout 4, yeah, because it is coming. Let's just pretend that doesn't exist because it's not official yet. Oh, I man, I can't like. I would say Rock Band mm-hmm. two. Rock Band two that came out a no, while ago. Also, you know, the <laughs> fuck I mean. Um, like, I probably won't get it, but like. I kind of want to play around with get the new Guitar Hero controller. Yeah. I definitely want to fuck with that thing. What? How about you buy Guitar Hero and I'll buy Rock Band? Like I'll be spending more on it because I'm gonna get I'll get the full set because I gave my brother Hefe Shahir my goddamn instruments. I don't know where they are, okay. so I'll buy the bundle. You buy that. Guitar Hero, 
And then if by some strange twist of fate it's fucking 2015, they should do this. We can use our instruments in each other's games. It won't work though because Guitar Hero Guitar changes your shit. Different, yeah. Fuck. Okay. Yeah. So you'll have to bring over Guitar Hero for us to play, and then this will be the Rock Band hub. But that way we have both games, we have both track lists and everything. Good point. I'm I down like, for that. I like that idea. I like Let's make that. Make it official. All right. So Guitar Hero. You're excited for Guitar Hero? Yeah. I kind of am too. And what kind of bothers me is. Huge My Chemical Romance fan. I'm a huge rock band fan. I like to play drums. That's my favorite thing to do. My Chemical Romance is one of like the top featured bands in Guitar Hero. And I'm like, fuck, man, come on. And they announced that Na 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 is going to be in it, which that's going to be a super fun song to play. But can you imagine if we play that song with a band? Yeah. We have someone singing it and I'm on drums and you're on guitar. Someone's on bass or whatever. Mm -hmm. Dude, come the fuck on now. Hell yeah. And I'm not going to get that. They never do that. So that's kind of a bummer. And it looks like Guitar Hero doesn't have other instruments, which kind of so sucks. Far. They're, they're not going to be I don't there. think they do. If they I were going to be there, they would have shown it. And I think it's a mistake if they were to add yeah. instruments. Because I think they got to differentiate themselves from Rock Band. Because I think Rock Band has that market. The And, like, look how, look what fucking, what is it, World Tour? Like, I don't know. I think... They have to, and I think it's good for both of them if they're different from each other. Yeah. Because if they just put out the same shit, it's going to, that's what led to the crashing of that genre. What's a song you really want in Rock Band? Oh, I have. What's a song we've never gotten in Rock Band that you would fucking love to play? You know what I mean? I don't know. No idea. I have years. <laughs> I would love, I would love I've to thought, get... I've never put any thought into that, so... There's a couple tracks from CKY that I think would be a blast to play. Yeah. Because they've got really fast drums, they've got really fast guitar. You put someone singing on that, they're going to have to scream when Darren screams and everything. Mm-hmm. Sing to the Underground would be great. 96 Quite Bitter Beings would be awesome. That's the song CKY is known for. So, there's a bunch of... That would be... CKY song, I know. Really? That's a, no, that's a it's, shame. It's probably, I, <laughs> probably not. Yeah, there's a handful of tracks from CKY I would love to fucking play. Yeah. You got nothing? I mean, I mean, I like. No, I haven't thought about it. So. Mm-hmm. I, <laughs> just move on. <laughs> <laughs> I like that you like can't even think of one song. What's your go-to game? That's what I want to know. Go-to game? Yeah. What do you mean? When you don't have a game, when you don't have a game that you're playing currently, mm-hmm. like I'm waiting for The Witcher, so I'm fucking around with Zelda, but it's not my mission to like. I need to go through. I need to beat it now because of this. When I don't have a game that I really want to sit down and play, I will always go to the UFC game. Okay. Because what I one of the things I like to do is I'll take a character who's not the best, or, like, his career is almost over, and I'll take over his career. Yeah. So I, what I'll do, and I, I fucking, I do this, There's, I have a notebook in there, you can look at it, of I'll write down his last three fights. Was it win, loss, who he fought, the date, and everything. Mm-hmm. And then, so, the third fight on that list, I will redo, and I'll pick up his career from there. So, like, I was, I started playing as Chuck Liddell. Right. So let's say he, he lost to Rashad by knockout. He lost to Shogun by TKO. And then his last fight was against Rich Franklin. I replayed the Rich Franklin fight, okay. and I knocked him out. So then I booked myself another fight against Forrest Griffin, continuing his career. Yeah. And I knocked Forrest out. And then I took a fight against Dan Henderson, which is a fight I always wanted to see, and I got knocked out. And the first round, like I just got caught with an they uppercut. They never fought each other? No, and they should have. It fucking sucked. Oh, man. Here's what happened. That's the UFC, crazy. The UFC bought pride. And they were unifying all the belts together. Yeah. Dan Henderson was their light heavyweight and middleweight champion. So he fought Anderson Silva to unify the Pride and UFC belts, and he lost. Right. Dan Henderson um, it was also light heavyweight champion, so he should have fought Chuck Liddell after that to unify those two belts. For whatever reason, they had Rampage fight Chuck Liddell, and Rampage beat him. And then Rampage unified the UFC belt with Dan Henderson's belt, which was fucked up because Rampage just came over from Pride. So it was basically a pride guy with the pride belt versus a pride guy oh, with the UFC belt. Chuck Liddell versus Dan Henderson should have happened, and we got robbed of that, and that fight's never going to happen now. 
and that bothers me. Yeah, but I made it happen, and I got knocked the fuck out, mm-hmm. and I kind of reevaluated my career. You know, as a as a forty year old Chuck Liddell, I'm like, what do I do here? I got yeah. knocked out. This is the fourth time I've been knocked out in like seven fights. So I looked at it, and I'm like, I'll take one more fight, and if I don't win this fight, I'm gonna get out. So I faced uh, Little Noguera. Okay. It's a good fight. I knocked him out in the second round. And then I go through the list of opponents because I can't get a title shot. One win off a of not like a top ten guy. Yeah. And I'm looking at the list of opponents and I'm just like, that's not a realistic matchup. That's not a realistic matchup. I fought that guy. I fought that guy. There's nowhere to go. So I just I just wrote down retired. Retired. And then I started playing as Martin Campman and I took over his career. Because when you get a game like that, you pick one guy, there's 20 guys per weight class right. that you can fight. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So there's endless possibilities for what you did, for what I can do in that game. Like, I text my buddy Giuseppe, and I'm just like, yo, I'm playing UFC. He's like, how the fuck are you still playing that game? Like, I played the Fight Night Round 4. Yeah. I did, like, nine full career modes in that game. Because that, that game has the best career mode of any sports game ever made. That's funny. It's Fight crazy. Night Round Four is is one of it's like my one of my top ten games ever. The thing about the UFC, uh, so you kind of have to like make up your own fucking modes like that because there's nothing in the game. Because that game was extremely bare bones. Yeah, it's a good game and the mechanics are are pretty good. Yeah, but it's the the best UFC game that's ever been put out. But really, mm-hmm. yeah, I would say so. Content wise, no, but just gameplay mechanics wise, I yeah. would I would probably say yeah. Like the career mode was dog shit. But yeah, and that's my favorite part. So right. I kind of got fucked that there. Sucks. But hopefully the next one, yeah, will be better. Um, I don't know, man. I don't know that I really have a game like that yeah. that I play to fill in the gaps. Um, like one game I I like to go back to every now and again is MLB The Show because mm-hmm. that's always a fun. Like the, I love the the wrote the show career, and it, that. it like doesn't end. Right, it, it never ends. And, and like, I'm sure it does when your guy gets old enough. But yeah, you can retire. You know how fucking eventually. long you'd have to play Road to the Show to finish it? Like, you're 59, do you want to retire? And you're just like, nah. And <laughs> your stats are plummeting through the goddamn floor. Um, but yeah, and like, it's really like fun, like bite sized games. Like, you never get into a situation where it's like, fuck, I got mm-hmm. it. It's like every, every game you play is like 10 minutes. Yeah. You know, so. One of my other favorite go-to games was, not specifically the third one, but I'll just say it because it's the most recent was Skate 3. Yeah. Where I could drop myself, because that's a, that's like, it's crazy to think that it's a skating game, but it's like open world. Like they'll drop you in a neighborhood, but you're just like right here. And you can go to like the Woodward skate park over there and you gotta, you gotta ride all the way there. You can fast travel. Or like Danny Way has his own mm-hmm. private mega park over here. There's a really cool bowl and a school over here. That's cool. Like the skate games were fantastic. And if they if they announced Skate Four at E3, I Who would. Who makes those? EA Black Box. They don't exist anymore. Oh, but <laughs> so, EA still exists. Okay. Yeah, but th- see, that's one of the things that would be scary about it. It's Somebody like well, else Skate it. Four is here, or like Skate Dark Slide. Like they just give yeah. it a, a subtitle rather than a number. Because a lot of games are getting rid of the numbers now. Um, it would be so scary because Black Box, Black Box doesn't exist. Yeah. So it's like a lot of people would be like, oh, why doesn't why don't they just remake WWF No Mercy? You know, it's the greatest wrestling game of all time. I do this because that's debatable. It's the greatest wrestling game of all time. Put AKI or Aki, however you say their fucking name. Mm-hmm. Get the team back together or, like, just have them make it. It's like, first of all, they don't exist. Yeah. Second of all, if they did, who knows where the fuck those guys are. You can't just, like, copy and paste no. it on the current roster. You can. It's called a PC mod. Yeah, but, but like, if you're going to make it for the fucking PS4 yeah, and shit. Yeah, that's like, what I mean. And make it a new, like, current-gen game, that's going to be a different, it's a different game. Yeah, exactly. So, and that's what's so interesting about, like, stuff like ukulele happening now. Oh, yeah. Is it is those fucking guys from, that made Banjo right. making this new game. Yeah. I would say let's talk about what's happening in the industry of, of, like, big developers saying, like, fuck you to the major corporations and right. going indie and making their own shit, but it's been covered a million other places, yeah. so... You know what I'm saying? We're not experts in that mm-hmm. situation. I am. I do it all the time. I made this game called Star Socks, and... I made that! I and I gave so. it to a little girl, and she's rich now? That did not happen. I made this game called Star Socks that is exclusive for the Ouya. You know what I mean? You're not gonna and you can anything. download it. It's 25 cents, and I get 4% of the profit. I made it worked out a pretty good deal with the guys. You know That's what I mean? That's a terrible deal. 
I don't think so. That's fucking. I'm making money terrible. hand over fist. You don't even know. I'm I'm surprised for uh, your go-to game. You didn't say Diablo three. I haven't been going to it. And Diablo three isn't a go-to game. I don't turn on Diablo three to just like play yeah, something. I, so. I turn on Diablo three because I got a mission. And my current mission is we have a fifty dollar bet for the Dan Ans who don't know that I need to platinum that game before the the calendar strikes twenty sixteen, which is a lot of work. And I'm not managing my time well currently. It is only the middle to end of May, mm-hmm. but I think I going to have enough time to do it. It's the skill based ones that are kind of worrisome, like get to level seventy and hardcore, beat Diablo and hardcore, beat right. Mathile and hardcore. But everything else is just time grinding. Yeah, got the so Witcher coming out. You get that fifty dollars ready, cause uh, don't be telling me what I got coming out, you motherfucker. Get that fifty dollars ready. You know what I'm saying? Because you're gonna have to pay me. Uh, I don't think so. Well, you're wrong. You owe me fifty dollars for the Gerard Way ticket, so you could just give me a hundred right now. That's not gonna happen. No, you don't think so? I'm not gonna give you any money. Why not? Cause fuck you. That's not nice. <laughs> Thanks for joining us on the first ever episode of What Game Are You Gaming? I think we got to the bottom of some pretty cool topics. What do you think? What's your name? Mike Artist. <laughs> That's what Steve calls me. Where can the Dan Ants follow you on Twitter? Artist underscore 616. My name is Ian. You can follow me on Twitter at idea 616 and follow me on Instagram, which I just recently made, at 616 Entertainment. We got WWE Raw Talks Live every Monday night right after Raw. Join us live. Join the chat. It's fun. 616 Entertainment Podcast goes up every Wednesday. New shows. By the time you're hearing this, we've probably got like 65, 66 episodes. We've never missed a week. We have a very impressive catalog there. You know what I'm saying? Every Friday we do a Let's Play. We play your favorite games. You got a game you want us to play? Let me know. I'll track that game down. If I don't have it, we'll play it. Has anyone ever recommended one yet? Yeah, I got a couple recommendations okay, we're cool. going to work with. I got a whole bunch of questions from the Dan Ans for us to cover on future episodes of What Game Are You Gaming? But this one we were just dipping our feet in. We were getting going. Yeah. And we're going to do this show probably once a month. You know? If the views do really well, maybe we'll do it twice a month. You know? But... We got three shows going already. We don't want to put out too much content. You know what I'm saying? So keep up to date with us. If there's any best friends who are watching from elsewhere, you know, we're your best friends too. We love you. And bye-bye, Dan Dan's. We'll see you next time.